Hello guys, welcome back, I'm Julian, I'm here to do my reaction video for Season 2, Episode 6 of Warrior Nun. This time the title of the episode is Isaiah 4031. And last episode we had a... It was a very gruesome, kind of like slasher type of sequence with all the fathers and archbishops and, you know, men. So, like... <laughs> I'm just kidding. But like all the this men in, pow in power on the church getting killed by other men in power of a new church. So it's like... Are we like <laughs> upset? No. Uh, anyways, not, not the point. But the thing is that um, we did have that, right? And we also had something very traumatizing that you should never do again, which is... The Ava falling down from floor 13 down to the fucking ground. Like, down to the fucking ground. And, like, dying for, like, a second. And B, just, like, basically confessing her love for her. And then she came back to life. But there was no kiss because they homophobic. <laughs> because they hate us, guys. I don't know. I mean, I mean, like... We're three episodes to the end of the series, which I'm, I'm going to agree. They might not have planned it to end on season two. But come on, man. And also, I don't know. We're going to talk about it after this episode is over. So I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys continue supporting for more because I will be doing lots of more reaction videos. Well, not lots. Just like the next two uh, reaction videos for... Uh, for Warrior Nun today, I'm gonna I'm doing a binge. Uh, I mean, yeah, you will call it a binge after I finish episode eight. Uh, so far, I've watched like one episode, so this is the second one. Uh, but I'm ready. I'm ready to watch it to see if they're gonna fall in love. Finally, because I've been here wanting this since the first episode because you guys promised me the gays, and like has been a payoff like. It's been difficult, guys. <laughs> and then there is this thread that, that Ava might die. So I'm not liking our, our odds, guys. And plus the show is getting cancelled. Like, got cancelled. So it's like... What is happening? You know? So, anyways. We're here. We're back. And we are ready for episode 6. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like it. Give it a lot of thumbs up. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Uncut reaction is always posted for us on Patreon. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like it. And without further ado, let's just begin with season 2, episode 6 of Warrior Nun. Here we go. <laughs> Adriel man. Also, Lilith following him. It's like so out of character. Cause she's a badass bitch. Badass independent bitch, you know? And here she is following a man. How should we proceed? This is Shannon. Suzanne. You should have known me by now, Shannon. Save them all. Suzanne, stop. That wait, wait, what you mean? Suzanne, does, that's Mother Superior's name? There was another Superior? <gasps> what is happening? And Shannon is here. Suzanne, our sisters don't hear like you do. They won't need to. You are not going in there alone. Were you guys in love? <gasps> I'm sorry, Shannon. Were they in love? Oh, look, I'm ready to ship more Mother Superior with anyone. <laughs> Not with Ducati. Whatever his name is. But I thought the, I thought the Halo rejected her. What, it rejected her after a while? <laughs> Seriously? You're a fucking fly, you idiot. We were evenly matched, and I had trained the Halo too much. <gasps> Well, you distracted her, Shannon. I'm so sorry. Maybe it was 
just her feeling like she didn't deserve it? Oh, that is that the reason why she thinks that that's what's happening with Ava? That she is... Okay, 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 okay. I, I see what he's going. Caused the hero to reject me. The fact that I use its power on Shannon. That I was arrogant enough to take the entire mission on my shoulders. Or that I allowed... You didn't allow that. Did I, I... You didn't allow that. So... She's so proud of her. At his new cathedral tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. We should have a multi point strike team in position by then. Sorry, but um, how do we prepare for this? I mean, what do we think Adriel is planning to do? Another he play? He announce himself to the world. Adriel wouldn't have fed me the blueprints as a child if I hadn't got something to do with it. Michael, given your time on the other side, do you have any idea how this might play out? Oh, he has an idea, but he's not willing to tell us. Not yet. Of Could course, he's gonna keep it to himself. himself. Another rock, do you think? Unlikely. Perhaps he's trying to go back home. He's about to take ultimate power on Earth. No, has to be something else. Maybe he wants to try to take down maybe Rhea or Freya or something like that. Maybe he's planning to bring something back here. <gasps> Maybe he's in love with Rhea. Rhea, I think I'm pretty sure it's Rhea. You're specifically taking it off to pray? What is happening, Camila? Hey, Drew. Are you sure? Are you? I, dear me, don't. I don't believe this. I understand something now. You put your cross in my head so I can't get rid of you. But communication is a two-way street, which means if you're in my head, then I'm in yours too. Yes, yes, baby. I don't see how that changes anything. Neither do I. Oh, I love this. But I guess we'll find out. Woohoo! Go off, Camilla! I knew I'd trust her. I knew I'd trust her. I knew I should have never doubt her. But, like, I love that she's like, I don't know what this thing and, like, this connection will do for us. I have no idea. But I'm still gonna thread you with it. It has no, absolutely no, makes absolutely no sense. But I'm still threading you. <laughs> Because I have nothing. <laughs> Into with a mission. On preordained fate. For you to die? Meeting you. Fighting beside you. Inspired me to believe that maybe there was another way we could win this thing. You made me believe that we could defeat Adriel. So your plan is not to fight. defeat. Oh, so it was like, you had like a suicide mission just to come here, kill him, but it will kill you too? Rhea sent me back with an explosive device packed with enough divinium that it should overwhelm Adriel's ability to heal. It's my destiny to deliver that bomb. You're the bomb. It's your destiny to help me. And where is this divinium bomb? He is a divinium bomb. I mean, maybe we can we can detonate it remotely. I'm pretty sure it's him. I don't think so. Yeah, I had a suspicion. Oh my god. Oh, for uh, for the Pope. So, do people know that you have locked the Pope? I'm Simon, Holy Father. Oh, they Living gave him close to you. I should suspect poison. Yeah. <laughs> Not today, Father. Uh, At least yeah. until tomorrow morning. Yes. After that, you're... But that's the thing. Like, has no one... Like, has he infiltrated so much in the church that he... Now, uh... Like, he has infiltrated the church so much, uh... 
that he goes missing and no one asks a question of where the fucking Pope is? Then one night, a vision appeared to me. He told me of his imprisonment beneath the Vatican, oh. of his plans mm. to save mankind. He asked me for my fealty. <laughs> He asked me for my fealty. Let's be real. Isn't this exactly what the church have been doing all along? It's just that, you know, Angel is weaponizing this. And I, you know, and we see it, how wrong it is for humanity. But like, behind the scenes of the church, like, it's not like they haven't done that. A way for the call, just believe, just trust, just, you know. What's really troubling you, my son? We seem to rely on fear and violence. He just realized that. What about compassion? Compassion can the come fuck later you. when they're ready for it. When you introduce a major change to their lives, humanity seems to be motivated by two things alone. Fear and money. And why waste money when you don't have to? But you fear not, Vincent. We'll set humanity on the path of righteousness and together we'll guide them to a new era of peace and tranquility. The one that you said. We shall contact God by text. Exactly. <laughs> it's not important, I suppose. Such a shame. I do love this suit. <laughs> He's no God. I don't, I'm not here for, for Vincent's redemption arc, by the way. Should we succeed in removing him from this world, we will be hated, judged by some as heretics, mm. blasphemers, thwarting the will of God. Not the first time. If the world sees a man that can perform miracles. I'll put the crown of thorns on his head. We lock Adriel into a box. We bring the box back here. Jillian hijacks Adriel's power source to activate the Ark, and we shove him through the portal. Once he's on the other side, we blow up the Ark. Everything sounds That's too good. Adriel's gone. And without the Halo or the Ark, he can never return. I mean, sounds like a plan, so but... let's do this. I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. Boy. I don't normally notice these things, but that guy's really hot, right? <laughs> okay, Camila. That guy he just said was hot. He's looking at you. Oh okay. my lord. <laughs> this is the most embarrassed I've ever been. Where's the rapture when you need it? <laughs> Thanks for looking, by the way. The mother superior. What we do today will change the world. How do you think a suicide bomber dismembering an angel on live TV will reflect on the sisters? Bad optics, man. Forget it. Listen to me. Oh, Michael. Her girlfriend is there to protect her. It's time to go. <laughs> do not touch her, bitch. Ava? I'm good. Let's do this. So you guys are not gonna talk? So they're not gonna talk, and when I say talk, they're not gonna kiss. Guys, we're running out of time. I, what is this? <laughs> she looks like- I'll find the server so room. My guys are hidden throughout the crowd. Lilith is gonna be somewhere around. <coughs> I've been too optimistic. Come on. Please, just give me a little more. Shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Do you know how I know that Adrian is not God, Vincent? Because he chose to speak to you. <laughs> T. T, T, T. Holding tea. Why is he taking it at all in? 
way too many young people to be applauded I for welcome the faithful. I don't care if I go back to being paralyzed, but I can't let them down. Is that Lilith? Oh, Ava. Oh, shit! You've looked better. Hey, Lilith. You too. Oh, don't you just wait. She's a dragon. For the Lord God <laughs> has delivered them to us. I present Adriel. What are you doing, man? I thought he was supposed to give a diversion or something like that. Do you really think Cat will send an angel so pretentious? That he wants to be like an Instagram influencer or something like that. Don't do this, Lilith. You should be fighting with us. Just follow orders. Oh shit. Be a pawn to the OCS. Never again. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no, damn it. Truly a momentous day. This is this is the most out of character thing you can ever do to Lilith. Lilith, out of all people, is the one that is changing sides. I tell you, the plagues of April were manufactured by Christian Schaefer. Oh, using he's. Our tech technology. Francesco, do not accuse me so. Behold, the plagues of a fraud. We're out of time. Where's Ava? Oh, she's finding Lilith, who now is a dragon or or Lexa. I don't know. <laughs> I pity you, Ava. I wanted the halo so badly it consumed me, but now, for the first time, I'm free. Okay. My focus now. Oh, kaboom! <laughs> Give it a minute, guys. It's loading. <laughs> what? It's not gonna work because people are not praying. We're in their system, but nothing's activating. They could only be doing this if they knew we were planning. Oh no! They knew. Camilla, it's not working. I have no control of the plagues. So what happened? They... They let us believe we're in. To what end? To make a mockery. Destroy him. Yeah. Telling you that all you need to achieve salvation is through worshipping them. Through heeding their wisdom. Giving them money. It's not wrong they there. they have given you in return. Nothing. Well, what are you gonna do? Just one last thing. I can only pray. Are we gonna put the crown on him? With God, God in his mercy, will offer forgiveness, forgiveness to this man. No! <laughs> oh my lord. They just. They just fried <laughs> the Pope. And they're gonna be like, oh, this was, you know, God's intention. Uh, Holy crap. Uh, oh my god. Please. Oh, Vincent. Just dropped it! Hi, Lilith! I'm losing the connection. They're locking me out. Doesn't matter. Our part is done. I'll hold them back. You no. alone? You can't let them take the Ark. Destroy it. If you can't stop them. This is the detonator. So where are you going, Jillian? <laughs> oh my god, the crown is everywhere! Everybody's stepping on it! Ava! Now! It has to be now! We'll never get another chance! Oh, God! 
everything went according to their plan. Find the Ark. Watch out for nuns. You're gonna have to watch out for one nun. <laughs> oh! Oh, yes! You give her one gun and she will destroy everyone. Oh, we love Mother Superior. Superior. Damn it all. Are you wearing a bu bulletproof? Uh. <sighs> oh. <laughs> yes. Major is shattered. How can I destroy it without it? You have to set it off by hand. Oh, my lord. like fall on top of him i hate this okay guys so that was the end of season two episode six of warrior nun um uh, this was a very good high stakes episode like really really high stakes episode um do i believe that what michael is saying is right about um Ray as being the only way? No. No, I don't I don't believe that. I, I believe that you know, since she couldn't like control, like completely control um completely control uh Lilith. That just means that she's not know it all. At least not on in our world. You know, she might have a plan that might seem to work in her in her realm, but I don't think it will work here. Now, I wanted to say, you know, that uh of course detonating Ava and Miguel at the same time, Michael, uh just to get him because enough divinion will pull him down. It's it was a suicide mission, and I'm not here for that, you know, so I'm glad that they didn't follow, you know, they were about to, but they didn't. Um, but I think they're making a lot of mistakes. Okay, by the end, it seems like Lilith was not always, you know, uh, on their side, you know, uh, because she kind of did save Ava, maybe she has a plan on her own. Maybe Rhea herself talked to her, or something like that. I have no idea, but I can't just believe that someone as independent as Lilith, you know, someone who has been trained to be. You know, the halo bearer, basically, you know, has her roots are very much with her sisters. This is just going to betray them from one night to the other, right? And honestly, with whatever they're trying to do with Vincent, if we are go coming into the redemption arc with Vincent, I just want to tell you I'm not here for it. I'm very not here for it. I couldn't care less about whether he repents his sins or not. Um, I believe he is 
a man who made choices in his life that led him to this precise moment. And I believe that he is just an evil person. I don't believe in his sudden change of hearts. Whenever it doesn't please him, he will do whatever. He's he's just... He's corrupt, you know? He's just... He's evil. And I, I just... I'm not here for the redemption arc on Vincent or for me to be like, oh, I knew he had a heart. Fuck that. No. Like, every action he has done has to have a consequence, you know? And, like, I don't want that at the end he seems like a hero. You know what I mean? It's just so fucked up, you know? I don't know. And now Mother Superior is dead. After we find out how she got the halo out of her, right? I am going to guess it has something to do with her not believing that she deserved it at the moment. And that the glitches that Ava has had during this time is her not believing that she's up for it. And not that the halo is rejecting them, but rather them rejecting the halo, rejecting their power, right? Um... Uh, because they don't feel like they're enough. You know what I mean? So, Ducati is fried. <laughs> He's crispy. He's a <laughs> very... <laughs> I mean, Angel was smart. It's not like I'm going to sit here and say, Oh my God, I love Ducati. What is his name? Ducati. I love him with all my heart. He was a good man. No, he is. He represents everything that is wrong with the Catholic Church. Everything, you know, we're supposed to believe, blindly believe, you know, um, and they are supposed to be, you know, behind the scenes, uh, knowing all, having a connection to God and like, whatever, you know, keeping money, you know, and all the things that they say, like the Vatican has so many, so much power. It's insane. They, they have a lot of value, you know, they have paint and things and gold and, and, and a lot of things that, you know, it's very easy for us to like, you know, kind of commercialize that and kind of like, because you have to put the money, you know, towards helping people. The only way they do the help is by saying, oh, pray, you know, so it's just, I don't believe in that, you know, I don't believe... Like, I, I, I don't believe that God or Jesus is, or, uh, ever will come down. If they ever come down, they will be happy with the church, with what the church has, has done. There are multiple, you know, uh, lawsuits and, and testimonies of children that are now adult and even children you know, who have been abused by members of the church. Uh, and the church doesn't do anything. They just hide them. They just move them. They just, you know, sometimes they f it feels like the church is so corrupt that even, you know, if you believe in God, then you believe that there's a devil as well, right? So that it has consumed them. I really, you know... So for me, seeing the Pope getting fried, it's like, well, it was bound to happen, you know? I, 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 it, I have not, I have no ounce of respect for the Catholic Church. I believe in God, okay? I believe in, the, in saints, I, you know, I do that, I, you know, um, uh, but there are still, you know, uh, a lot of things that I don't agree with the Catholic Church, I don't believe that God is going to come down and say, oh my God, yes, this is what I meant when I say to to Peter to build the church. This is exactly what I meant, guys. I don't think so. I don't think so, you know. Um, so, yeah. And, and so D Ducati represents exactly that, you know, the arrogance of the church. The, uh, you know, the fact that everything that Adriel said, honestly, is the truth about the church. So, 
what can we expect? You know, it's like, fuck them, you know? I, I was kind of like, okay, I'm leaning into believing in Adriel. Well, of course I don't believe in Adriel because we know that he's not an angel, right? And he's not sent by God or anything like that, you know? But will they show on this show uh, that there is a God? You know, that is the big question. Because they are, you know, this man, this this entity that, that Adriel is, um, is testing God. Or God. Or definition of God. Right? Will God actually say, send a tweet and say, God, or, or like open a Twitter account and put God real, you know, <laughs> the God <laughs> official account. <laughs> you know what I mean? Is he going to be like verified? Is he going to pay for his subscription <laughs> on Twitter? <gasps> this is a joke. I know, but like, is he, is he going to show up in some way? I don't know. That would be cool, I guess. Uh, and then you have, of course, you know, I don't know. I, there are some things that I'm extremely pissed with the show itself. I mean, it's is it badass? Is the story badass? Yes. But they're making mistakes, you know, in the sense of like, one, we keep seeing Beatrice being very protective of Ava. And other than the look Ava gave her on the previous episode, other than that, there is really no build up for, for Ava and Beatrice. Yeah, they lived, lived together for a while. You didn't see it. Right? Because, like, I'm very much, like, calling out to the people that were, like, oh, they're the best ship. Did you mean, like, potential ship? Because, like, we're two episodes down for the finale, right? Well, not in an intended finale. But... Uh, what have we been offered so far? Like, in terms of, like, yes. It's a very beautiful coming out kind of scene with Beatrice. Did love and appreciate that. And especially because coming from a Catholic background, I really, you know, understood her. And it was a beautiful thing. It was a beautiful episode. Um, but, you know, other than her following Ava around... What else? And, like, the Camilla conversation with her? What else, you know? So this really is a good show, because it's just a good show. And they happen to be... There happens to be one gay character. Or two, maybe. I don't know, because... Anyway's not... Has not said anything. And, like, what? Are they gonna just kiss in the finale and that's it? Dude... I'm just gonna say, the standards that I have given by Gap the series are extremely high, so I'm finding this kind of not paying off in terms of the ship. In terms of the show, it's really good. It, it's really good. It, it it presents you with this idea of what will happen, right? Uh, with the Catholic Church. And for me, someone that has nothing, like, no respect for the Catholic Church... I mean, I'm finding it hilarious, you know, uh, seeing their their doom. Uh, but, you know, Adriel wanted exactly this. He wanted to take, you know, what has been built upon him, based on him, he believes. So he, he took it, you know, he took it. Um, but yeah, you know. But at the expense, I feel, of... Like, I don't need to see Vincent. I need to see more of Lilith, right? I want to see more of Beatrice. Camila this season has surprised me. And yes, I could agree that the change of her being like the newbie, right? On season one to being the badass that she is right now. It could have gone into the months that we were apart. And the fact that, you know, a lot of shit has happened to her. The poor thing. So I understand that. You know, I, I feel that. I, 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 you know, but it feels a bit like there there has ne there needed to be a more, like, visual progression, right? But she's still badass. She's cute as hell. And, and, and you know, the potential was always there from the get-go, you know? So, yes. And now, what? They killed Mother Superior. 
out of all the badass characters that we have. We get to know her story. She might be a little bit gay. She gets shot. I mean, she might. she's not gay, you know. But she had, like, this very tender moment with Shannon. And I was like, oh, my God. They were in love. But I always say that when two women interact, so don't pay attention to me. But, like, I was, like, happy. And then, what happens? She gets shot. Oh, my Lord. And please don't tell me that that's the end. That that's all we're going to see of Mother Superior. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You're going to kill her? And then you're going to make Lilith a follower? A follower of of Adriel? Like, it's unbelievable. That is just insane to me. But maybe I'm not getting the whole picture yet because we still have two more episodes. But I am going to say, in terms of the ship... With only two episodes re remaining, the story is very good. And I thank everyone who has, you know, supported me and, like, recommended me this show. But, like, this is just one more show where, where, you know, it feels like it's going somewhere. But it takes for fucking ever to give us a payoff. You know? And I'm like... Dude, where is it? You know, so kind of disappointed in that regard a bit. I know we have two more episodes, but that's it. We only have two more episodes. And I understand that the writers might have an idea of like where it was going on season three. But honestly, you had two seasons and this season has not been a build up for Ava and Beatrice to get together. It has been nothing but, in my opinion, because... Like, how many moments have they shared, like, true moments of, like, them... Like, at the beginning of the season, that's it. Like, the first two episodes. <coughs> they haven't shared, they, like, Ava being nervous about what she was doing, how she came up with the plan, like, things like that. They are hinting at, but we never see it. So I'm not pleased with that. I, I don't want more queer characters and queer storylines happening on the background. When it should happen on the front row, like right there in front of us, you know. So I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit pissed at that. But we have two more episodes to go and that will be the end of season two and the series as well. Sad, sad, honestly, that it got canceled because the potential of this being great is just incredible. So I can't believe that they actually... Sorry. Cancelled it. So, yeah. Anyways. That's it. That's all I'm gonna say for this episode. Um, Ducati. Ducati. Rest in peace. <laughs> you, you're hot. <laughs> you're burnt. <laughs> I don't care <laughs> if the Pope died, you know. Uh, it's what it is. Do I believe he is meeting God right now? No. <laughs> is he in hell? Probably. He torture a person as well. So what the hell, you know. Um, but anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. So give it a thumbs up, subscribe, coming. Hit the notification bell. All kind of reaction is posted on Patreon. I will watch if there are some like behind the scenes or interviews with the cast and things like that. I am going to do it uh, on my channel, on YouTube, on my members, for the members of my channel. So if you guys want to check that out. Uh, join my channel, you know, uh, and, uh, membership, if you guys want. Uh, and that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for Warrior Nun. That's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.